Howdy folks, welcome to episode nine. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to build some uh, into this valley here. We're gonna try to build kind of toward the smelter but then take a turn toward the iron ore mine. Now I did do an episode nine and I recorded an episode nine and decided to make it into bonus episode eight and a half after the fact because basically I didn't get very far and uh, was basically surveying and and made some screw ups and stuff like that and was having trouble and then after I was all done it totally um, <laughs> forgot to hit the save so yeah and it lets you just save out or exit out of your game without saving and doesn't even say anything about it and so yeah I completely basically none of that actually happened um, it's only in that video <laughs> So, yeah, none of it affected the save. And honestly, it was probably a time saver because it um, would have required me to go... I would have been had to go back and delete a bunch of stuff that I'd laid out that was just ugly anyway and wasn't useful. So anyway, that's the smelter right there. There's a cool waterfall over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to come through this valley here. We're going to come through this valley between these two mountains. As you can see on the map, that's what we're pointing at right here. So there's, there's that between the two mountains, and then we're basically going to go up the side of, you know, we're going to climb up the side of this basically slowly. Um, so I was looking at how other people had built their tracks and everything, and uh, found some tracks to download and stuff like that, some maps to download online and everything, and saw how other people were doing that and the paths that they took and stuff. Because it's, you know, you can't climb it more than, like, 3%, 4%, 4% is pushing it, basically, is, is from what I've seen um, in this game, that is. I know, realistically, you don't do 4% grades on railroads or whatever, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, 4% is about where, you know, you can do uh, some segments of 4% in this game, and you can, you can be okay. But yeah, you don't want to push it much more than that. So... Anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through that valley and then basically take a right. And so as you see here, this is the, um, this is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the sawmill. And so we're going to basically try to split off of, from this track. And I'm kind of thinking what we could do is maybe do a switch here and come off and then do like a 90 across this. I'm not sure if we'd be able to get that to happen or not. So I might have to do something else. Maybe have this, maybe have this one split off because we have another, yeah, we have room for another splitter over here where it's level. So that's probably what we could do is instead of having this thing go that way, we'll have it go the opposite way and split out. That's probably the best idea, actually. Why don't we do that? So because this one is already set up that space is already open there for that switch and so we should be able to just put a switch in go in the opposite direction so why don't we try that we're going to demolish rails we're going to take out this one and then we're going to try to put in the other rail right away so we'll see if we can get a rail to fit here where's our link there's our link okay so my question is why is it that the other one was able to go downward. I don't understand that. The other one was able to go downward and this one can't. Did they change something be between the times that I built it or what? Because this is supposed to be... Yeah, that should be... Yeah, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a way to change that. Um, let me try... Let's demolish... We're going to demolish these out of here because we don't need them there. That's probably why that was so awful. because I used That was the first track I built, too, so of course it's going to be awful, right? Okay, let's try see if we can do something like this. Switch right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to do this, and then we're going to lay another track from here to here and see if it maybe um, will, if we connect it, can we connect it? There we go. 
So if we connect this to here, will it lower that? I don't think it will. No, it's not going to. So, I, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get why that's such a big change. Okay, so we're going to have to rip out a bunch of this. So we're going to demolish this rail and this stuff. And we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to rip out a bunch of this. Okay, so let's go like this. And we're going to put the groundwork under here. Let's demolish the groundwork. Right? We'll get that out of there. And then we can put this and let's get rid of this too and we'll see if we can make this match up so we'll start with our groundwork variable grade let's see if we can start it here is it at the same height I don't know why I okay it maybe looks like it was doing the right thing okay so this has to be zero, right? This to be zero to match up with this. See, that's... Okay, that doesn't make any sense. This is at zero. This grade is at zero. So this is coming up at 2%? I don't understand why. Okay, why don't we try... Why don't we try getting rid of this and we'll see if we can... Maybe lay one that's not touching anything and see what it does when it's when it's not even touching anything, right? Let's try laying down a a, a thing that's not connected. This is such a squirrely little curve here too, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to demolish rails here. We can get rid of this. Wow, there's a bunch of tiny little segments too. Okay. So, we're going to try going right here and laying down a switch to the right and it's gonna go like this see when we do that it's level so I don't understand maybe it was the groundwork no it wasn't it wasn't like I don't get it I don't get it all right so we'll lay down the groundwork first <laughs> we'll get this eventually someday we're going to uh... <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. Variable grade. So if we tap on the top of this, is that how we get it to match? It looks like it, yeah. Okay, pretty much. All right, and then we're gonna come out this way. And then we're gonna go down here. So is this 0% of this whole way? I think this is 0% this whole way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. There we go. All right. And then we're going to end that there. And then we'll see if our switch will actually work. So we have to, we have room to make that curve. Okay. So let's kind of straighten this out too. We're going to do some cleanup here while we're, while we're at it, right? So this comes around this corner and goes, I like how it kind of want, I, I don't want it to be perfectly straight. So, I know somebody's going to suggest that I make it perfectly straight. I don't want it to be. I like how it kind of wanders, meanders back and forth. We might still put a switch off to the left as well. I think we'll do that anyway. So let's see if maybe we can... Because this is going to need to be... This is going to need to be two things. Why don't we do the one off to the left first? Rails, switch to the left. We're going to go like this, because we, we have less room on this side. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to put a switch off to the right. I guess we're going to have to put the switch on the other side, aren't we? Switch to the right. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. And then this, we're going to keep this on this direction we're gonna keep it for that direction for right now because that's basically gonna be unused track for the moment who knows if that's actually gonna work if we'll be able to get enough yeah I think we'll be able to get enough of a curve in there okay because that'll kind of make our little I think that'll make a Y 
So let's go like this and get our rail attached here. We're gonna come up this way and then see if we go like this, it'll bend that. See, it'll bend that perfectly. And then we can come up to there and that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> so this, this still needs to, uh, yeah, this still needs more space to do that. So we'll get a few more of these pieces taken out. That should give us enough room. I think we don't want to go over that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is really early on, isn't it? Okay. All right. We might come back and fix that later, but I'm not going to do I'm not going to get all stuck in that mode of trying to make everything perfect. All right. So, all we're doing is we're placing spline points. So we need this to come over a little bit more this way before it comes back. So it can line up with that. That's really sharp. I think that's way too sharp. All right, we're gonna try one more time. We'll try one more time. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to go to redo that little section right there. Let's try it. All right, so what we need to do is we need to come out over this way. We'll come out of this one and see if we can do it without curving so much. We can hope, right? Okay, so we're gonna go like this. And that, we can relay the groundwork too. Yeah, that's much better, much better. And then if we keep going straight in this direction until we hit parallel, right? So we're gonna go like this. There we go. And then we need to get up here. And then hopefully we can get over this line here without it breaking. Can we connect it? Can we get the, yeah, there we go, we got the link. Beautiful. See what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's cool. And it doesn't go over that, it doesn't, we got rid of that little jump there. Cool. All right, so now what we can do is we can start laying down some groundwork. What I wanna do is I wanna use this variable grade and we need to start climbing up to some point so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start laying this down here and let's go up a little bit we're gonna lay this down here and I just want to get some height here first just so that we can see where it is and then we'll go all right. Oh man, that's way too, okay. So we're gonna lay this down here and here, because we're gonna delete all this stuff out anyway. So don't worry about it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we wanna come out here and we're gonna do this. And we're gonna slowly now let me see if we can, if we hold alt, can we, whoops, curve radius is X and Y. X is to the, okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, let's try 15. Let's see what it does here. So what did it just do here when I laid that down? It made it perfectly straight, didn't it? And what's it doing now? And it's doing that. See, it doesn't, <laughs> totally doesn't do what I want it to do. So yeah, I'm not sure what it thinks it's doing. All right, I figured I'd give it one more try and see if maybe I was just doing something horribly wrong, but nope, it's not me. It's not me, it's you. Okay. Um, 
I'm sure I'm doing something wrong because other people are using it and it's working for them. So I, and but I've tried hitting Alt and it doesn't do anything. Okay, so over here, this is gonna be our wall. This is gonna be our track, and we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna start t curving to our right. Now, I don't want to try to come up. I, what I did last time was I tried to come up, and I basically ended up with this ridiculously high wall, and it didn't, you know, and I was I was thinking I was going to be able to just go over the center of the mountain kind of thing. <laughs> and I probably could have gotten up, but getting back down the mountain would have been another a completely different story. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, so we kind of want to go along that wall that's to our right and follow that. So we'll probably keep going straight here for a little bit. And then we're gonna start curving to our left a little bit. There we go. Can we get past that? There we go. And, yep, so there's a little dip in here, which is a little river. So we'll be able to go, we'll be able to make our bridge across that. Now that was the other thing I had trouble with in the other episode nine, <laughs> in episode eight and a half now. Um, the other thing I had trouble with, yeah, we won't, we don't want to go too far that way. Okay. How's that look? Yeah, it looks good. The other thing I had trouble with was the trying to make a bridge across a gap like this. All right. And so let's go scout where... I think, yeah, I think we want to go more that way. We'll see. I don't mind tall bridges. I kind of like tall bridges. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Yeah, it's kind of a big gap, isn't it? All right, so if we can make a bridge coming across there to the other side, see if we can, see if it'll let us do it. We're gonna go bridge. We're gonna try a steel trestle bridge. For the fun of it. So if we click here. Now what it was doing was it was not letting me go. See like here, it's not letting me click. It's not giving me a place to click or anything. There we go. So how far can this go? I'm, it's it's like, is there a limit that the bridge can only go like 20 feet in a segment or something? Let's see if maybe... No. Alright. Let's try going like this. So it can go there. And then it can keep, go here. The trick is I can't tell if I'm if I'm going in a straight line or not. So for all my for all I know my bridge is like completely, you know, jaggedy and everything else. So we're going to It looks like maybe it's coming across in a straight line. Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's cool. All right. And then that's going to hit here. And we'll go like, can we go up at all? Yeah, there we go. All right, apparently, oh, okay, that, nope, that worked. All right, cool. So let's go back across, because I think, I think we need to do that to get back onto our bridge. But we need to check and make sure that it's actually a straight line across. I think it is, because I hit Alt and I let go. And I think it put it into make everything straight mode. That's the technical term. That's what the devs call it, right? <laughs> That's the technical term for it. All right, let's try some logging here. Get these trees out of the way so we can see what's going on. And this one. I kind of like that treetop right there. 
kind of cool that there's treetops right there. That one's a little too close. All right, so yeah, it looks like we got a nice bridge across here. All right, let's get rid of this too, as long as we're killing some logs. Uh, did I just do that? I came off of that and now I'm not gonna be able to... Oh, I think I can, let me see. Let's see if we can get our groundwork, our variable stone wall. If we hit right here, will it do it? Yeah, it will. Okay, cool, that works. And then we need to come this way. And we need to come up one degree, probably. So let's go like this and we can start turning. Can we turn? So it's kind of our survey slash, you know, if, if there's segments that work, we can keep them. If they don't work, then we come back and we rework the segments that don't work. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay. And then we need to start changing direction back the other way too, don't we? Yep, because we're going to run right into that hill. Okay. So we're going to start going up. Let's see what we can do here. And slight turn. And slight turn. There we go. All right, let's see where that is on the next to the hill. Okay, that's not too bad. And then we're probably going to need to put a couple of bridge trestles in here or whatever in order to um, in order to let water go through, kind of thing. If if that's a concern, and let's see if we can start turning this way. See, we're gonna. I think we are going to need to adjust this because that's going to go right through that. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. That's going to need to go around there. All right, we can we can actually fix that now if we want. So this is probably going to take a few episodes to actually get all of this done. Um, I might do some of it in a bonus episode or whatever, but yeah, it's probably going to take a while to get all this done. And I'm trying to decide whether we should do that. We should do this or we should maybe come over with a bridge instead of trying to go yeah this giant thing maybe we can turn this a little bit yeah this is really badly done so why don't we try to come around with this bridge a little bit more like we'll angle this bridge a little bit better instead of trying to curve everything so that means we need to come all the way back to here, demolish all this stuff back to here. When did we turn this direction? So we're gonna demolish this, this, this. Okay, and then one more piece. All right, so we're gonna come this other direction. Let's clear some of these trees out of here too because we can't see where we're going. We make sure we know where we're going. That's the old path. We want to come this way. So we're going to try to go out here. This is our goal, is to have a bridge that goes across here. Let's get these out of the way too. Okay. Can we put down, let's put down a water tower. 
we're not going to keep it here. It's just so that we can see. We can see where our goal is. Okay. So that's going to be our marker. Since they don't have survey markers that we can that we can put down, we're going to use our own survey markers. All right. And we might even start a segment back. Yeah, let's start one more segment back. And this should allow us to... See, we're tur turning around a corner here. Maybe we can just go straight instead of turning around that corner. Let's see if that'll do it. Basically, we're already facing that water tower at, at this point back here. If we can get past the trees, right? Yeah, we're already facing the water tower, so we can probably just, instead of curving back and forth, we're going to come back another one. There we go. Alright, that works. So we're going to go groundwork, variable stone wall. We're going to start here. There we go. And I think, I think we don't need to come up at all. We'll see. No, I don't think we need to come up at all. All right, and then we get to about here. We can start our bridge. So let's do our steel trestle. Bridge, and we're going to start it back a little bit into the thing. There we go. Yeah, it seems to have a limit as to how far. It's, it reminds me of the tracks now. It's about the length of the tracks, isn't it? We're going to go like this. I hope that's straight. Is that straight? Yeah, it's pretty much. Okay. And then if we go like... Okay, see, it's not going to let me curve it. It's just that's the way the tracks build, apparently. Okay, cool. Can you... There's the gradient. Oh, I guess you can change the curve radius if you want to. All right, but we don't need to. We can come all the way over here. Lay this down here. If it'll let us up this little, there we go. You need a rocket jump. <laughs> and there we go. All right, so that'll Come across there, and I think what we can even do is we can come down a degree. There we go. And I think when you do that, it does the entire... Yeah, see, it does the entire thing. As you see, it does the entire bridge, not just the last segment. So when you come down a degree or whatever. We're just going to come down one degree. We're going to come to right back here. It's just very picky about where it lets you place the end segment. It's, I don't know if the end segment has a minimum length or something. It's possible. Okay. So that's the bridge. And then before we forget, we're going to demolish this stuff. Should we? No, we'll, just, we'll do that later. I'll do that in a bonus episode or something. Um, let's go back to groundwork, variable stone wall. We're going to put our stone wall here and then where is our yeah so we need to start turning left start turning left I think yeah maybe stay stay level right maybe stay straight ahead we'll see yeah we do need to start okay because that one turns to the left and goes like that and then it hits the wall because it didn't turn sharp enough or whatever so we're gonna have to go like this all right and see how that looks okay so the the other thing we're gonna start we're gonna go back and we're gonna demolish this um, tower Demolish the tower. Whoops. 
demolish. Let's just do all. I don't think we're picking and choosing right now. All right, we'll get some logging done here. We got two. We need to be able to see through this. There we go. Those are a little too close. If the branches are overhanging the thing, then that's too close. And it needs to go away. It's close. Okay, so we do need to get rid of this groundwork. There we go. Huh, that was cool. Alright, so we need to come down the center of the valley more, I think. We'll try to stick to the center of the valley. Is that another piece? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down the center of the valley here. We might as well get some trees while we're doing this, right? We're going to run down here. The groundwork is going to come down the middle of the valley here. So I just want to target down here at this end somewhere that we can see. And then I think... This is where it starts going downhill. Okay, so we still do need to go around this more, I think. We need to come down here. We can't start turning yet. I think this is where we can turn. Where we can start going uphill for our thing. Yeah, okay, so this is where we want... Alright, that's where we want our track to come out. Just so we have a target to aim for. And we're going to kill some more of these trees. While we're on our way. So we can see a little bit better. Yep, there's our little valley. All right, cool. So when we come out of the valley, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I can't tell if this is higher or lower. We'll just, we'll have to see. It looks like it's fairly level, but it's hard to tell. When you're on the mountains, you could be going up like a 2% grade and not even know it and think that it's level. This looks like it's going downhill, but yeah. To get like a train rolling on it, trying to roll backwards, <laughs> right? Or forward or whatever. Put a track on it and let a car with no brakes on it and see see what the grade is, right? We don't have a level with the little bubble, right? Okay, so this is going to come out here. Stone wall. There we go. And then we're going to go this way. Yeah, I was thinking we needed to start climbing up the side of the hill, but I think we'll do that later. So let's go like this. We'll do a nice long straight segment. There it is. There's the end of how far it can go. And yeah, I think we might end up just having to... Oh, you see it is going downhill here. Okay. see what happens here. And it's going to go like this. So yeah, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lay down our own grade. We might. I'm not sure if we want to... Huh, that's interesting. It. That's kind of cool. Instead of being stuck inside it, it like brought me up to the top. Okay, so yeah, I think we're not going to leave. I don't think we're going to make the track like this because that's way too um, obnoxious. We're going to try to keep it lower to the ground. But I just wanted to see what level is so that we can decide how high or low we want to make our track. But it looks like we should be mostly okay. We can do a few raised sections, but we can keep it closer to the ground. And then we're going to demolish this water tower. And then we're going to go like this. 
get our stone wall over here. Because see, if we come up and down and everything with the, with the uh, terrain, we're going to end up having to... Uh, the, it's going to be a roller coaster, basically. And let's see what we've got here. It looks like we can come around this. And maybe we can uh, follow the contour here. Follow the contour of the level of the ground more than um, more than anything else. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got like a segment where it starts to go downhill again. Okay. Let's see if we can keep this. So we'll probably just put bridges across this instead of trying to come down too much. See what we've got here and where is where are we now okay so we're gonna stick to the left wall I think for the most part well that's our right isn't it the wall on our right we're gonna stick to the wall on our right see if we can do this and so far we're actually staying level so I think we can start climbing because the thing is higher than us. What is this? Oh, okay, this is a big valley. It's a big valley that goes down. Okay. All right, and we can just kind of follow the valley wall. All right, so if we start coming up at a 2% um, gradient, does that work? Yeah, that's a nice smooth curve. Okay. And we'll see what a 2% can get us as far as going up the valley walls. This is the trick is I need to remember not to, to go so far. So I think we're going to need to, yeah, we're going to need to put bridges or whatever up here. Okay. But I think that's... And it, we could probably even start climbing earlier than that and maybe come closer to the wall. I think we can try doing that. Let's see what we have here. The trick is this this part right here where it juts out is where we need to set our... Um, that's where we need to end up, right? Because that's going to be the closest... Yeah, that's going to be the, the point that we can't go through or whatever. We need to be at the right height once we get there. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble, right? So, it would be nice if you had like a little elevation meter or something. So, I don't know if we can come up at 2% the whole way and see how high on this we can get. Where is the iron ore mine compared to this? Okay, so we're just in random valley, and we need to actually come... Oh, that's just like a dip in the valley, isn't it? Okay, that's this chasm. We need to we need to go across here and not stay on this wall. We need to go across that gap. Okay. All right, I think I got that. I think I got it figured out. And then, what is that down there? That's the other side of the wall. So yeah, we need to come across this giant chasm. And where is that? Yeah, that's, okay. That's the segment here. Okay, so I think, yeah, what we can do is, well, let's try laying a bridge, let's try an iron bridge, or whatever, steel bridge, whatever it is. Steel trestle bridge, let's see what it'll let us do with the steel trestle bridge. I don't know if it's going to let us do anything, but we'll see. Okay, I actually had to do a cut in my video for once. So the the trick to, apparently the trick to building these bridges is that you need to um, 
the way the way I was having problems with them, or the reason I was having problems with them, is that you need to uh, have some groundwork underneath so that they have something to build on top of. And I'm not sure how wide that ground, if the groundwork needs to be underneath this point here, or if it just needs to be under the center. So I think what we're gonna try is we're gonna try to go like this. We're gonna start with some groundwork here. And we're gonna go like this and see if we can get it to go. The trick is I want it to get, I want it to be in line with the bridge already. It looks like we have a line right here on the ground too, doesn't it? All right, and then we can go like this. Hopefully we can make this line up, right? I'm just hoping I can see here to get it to line up. There we go. And then let's, why don't we just go like this instead of trying to, uh, yeah, there we go. Instead of trying to make three of them all at the same level, we'll just go like this. And we're gonna go across there a little bit. Because what we'll do is we'll just take this out after we're done. We're just doing this as a temporary sport. There we go. And then we're gonna come back across. So we'll see if we can get this to, to lay out the, is it really, is it really coming across that far? I guess it is, okay. Let's see if we can get this to go like that. Okay, so now we should be able to lay our thing. Now, the other thing I wanna do here before we do this, because these trees get in the way, now that we know where our line is, we can remove these trees that are gonna get in the way of the thing. There we go. Get these just for good measure. They're not going to be visible from the bridge anyway, so that's fine. Is it going to let me cut? There we go. <laughs> I swear, I think every time you click on them, it adds it adds more uh, velocity or something. Because the ones that I click once, yeah, see the ones that I click once just kind of do that. The ones that I click like 50 times. Yeah, see, <laughs> they go nuts. All right, can I get that one? There we go. Go, go away, tree. There we go. All right, and this one too. Can we get it? No, nope, apparently I hit the one behind it. All right. Is it still? Go. Go away, tree. There we go. All right. Yeah, it was. It was done. All right. And then. This one here. Man, that would suck to get stuck between those, wouldn't it? Okay. So we should be able to make our bridge go across here. See if it'll work now. I don't want to cut down all the trees. So I had to cut a hole in the, the groundwork over here in order to get back through. Because once you get down this far, <laughs> You have to go all the way back here in order to come back up. So it's right over here, I think. Yep. So yeah, I had to chop like 20 minutes of hair pulling, you know. Uh, <laughs> why isn't it working? So apparently the trick is that um, the, the bridge can only be so tall. And uh, the bridge can only be so tall, and if it's... If you're trying to make it taller than that it just won't it won't reach down and so the thing the thing is though I watched people do videos yeah you know, uh, that's why why I was able to try this again is I watched people make videos where they made bridges across chasms like this and the bottom was just hanging in the air so I don't know if there was an update where they changed that you know where they made it stop being like that or what and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this because this is the other problem it was giving me is it's doing this thing where it wants to there we go 
There we go, okay. See, it wants to do that, and I'm not sure why. Okay. Oh, it is going all the way out that length. Whoa, I forgot about that. <laughs> just scared the crap out of me. Okay, so we should be able to click somewhere here. Right? Can we go somewhere? I don't know if we just need to do one segment every single time. That's going to be really annoying. I know they didn't do it one segment at a time. There's something else going on that I'm doing horribly, horribly wrong. And yeah, and it just does not want to let me put another segment on. I am not finding anywhere I can put the cursor that it's putting another segment. Okay, so if we right click, it's gonna put it there. I wish I could reach that with the with the pointer. Let's see, bridges, steel trestle bridge. Can we get our pointer on that? There's our pointer there. See, it'll let, it, let us put it there. I don't think it'll let us go there. Let's try a little bit more here. Back off this. No, it's not letting me, is it? No, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to go all the way back across. Need like a ladder or something, <laughs> right? Be able to put up a ladder. All right, we have to come around here. Uh, so the trick is once you get that segment, end it and then don't jump off, right? I guess that's gonna be the way I'm gonna have to do it this way. So we'll see if we can get it done. It's, I guess. So yeah, I watched other people build them and they were kind of, they were cool Let's Players. They weren't like the obnoxious, gotta be funny all the time, gotta be constantly doing something outrageous at all moments kind of Let's Players. They were really cool, mellowed out and everything. And, and it was fun to watch. The only thing that was, that really frustrated me a lot watching their videos was um, the jump cuts. There were way too many jump cuts and there was no sense of, it totally lost any sense of continuity where it was like, I'm doing this and suddenly everything is completely different. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to happen again. Where, what was it? There it is. I'm not sure why it does that, but it does. Okay. And it's right there. A little bit back. Okay. And then, will it let us put another segment? See, there's nowhere I can put another segment, so I have to do this. I right-clicked, and now it's solid. I guess we're just going to have to do it this way. There's, there's no way they did it. See, the thing is... I don't know for certain that they didn't do it because they didn't actually show all of the placing of these segments individually. They just, they were, they started on like doing this and then they jump cut to the bridges there. <laughs> Which is not cool in my opinion. And I'm sure it's only my opinion, but that's fine. It's still my opinion. And it's my video, so I'm gonna express my stupid opinion. All right. <laughs> And if you're watching my videos, you probably hate jump cuts too, right? Alright. You're probably not watching my videos because you love jump cuts because you won't find any here. Alright, can we... We can get across here now. We're going to fall through, but I think we can get... A, oh, we're not going to be able to get up there, are we? Come on. Can we do it? Alright, we're going to put that there. Is it going to let me click it? There we go. Okay. So I can't get up here, but at least I can do that. Now, the trick is, am I going to be able to delete this groundwork without deleting the bridge? Right? That's the question. Because I don't want to leave that down there. It's ugly. So, yeah, actually, what I can do is I can come way down here. We're going to save the game first. Save game. Slot 2. Back. Continue. Okay. Let's go, like groundwork. We're going to demolish this. And this. 
There we go. Okay. That's fine. Can we get up here anywhere? I want to see if we can get up here before we try to go back the other way. I don't think we can. I think it's going to be too steep here. It's too steep here. What about over here? Like right here? It looks like we might be able to... Really? Right here? And then up here? At all? No? There's that little bit. If we can get up there. <laughs> right? Go! Okay. No, I don't think we're going to be able... There it is. There we go. See? going to have some faith in me. All right. <laughs> Let's get some of these logs out of here so we can see what we're doing. And we are across this. And so we need to start scouting more of that. Can we... I'm probably going to have to go back anyway just so I can... Can I get that log? There we go. Probably going to have to go back just so I can get back on this, on top of this. Um, see if we can lay some groundwork here. Stone wall. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. All right. All right, and then we're going to want to go this way. We're probably going to want to start going upward. I can't see where that is. What kind of an angle that's at. Okay. So that's upward at 2%. We're going to leave it there. And I think that is going to do it for episode 9. We did get our bridge done. It's not perfectly straight. It's going to be cool when they add, like, I think they're going to add more uh, of the bridge segments, too. They're going to add the signs in the bri bridge segments and stuff like that. And they've got some more uh, models that I saw uh, in another video, basically, where they're going to, yeah, they're going to do different trestles and stuff like that. So that should be fun. But anyway, that's going to be it for Episode 9. Join me in Episode 10. We'll see how much more of this path we can get done. And we'll see you then. Later.